Hi you guys, welcome back to another vlog. Today's video is so exciting. It's Friday morning and I am heading to the Four Seasons Orlando and I've actually never stayed the night at any Four Seasons ever in my life so I feel just so lucky that I get to but I have seen this property before and toured it with my boss before but I am actually getting to do this and experience this all because of my boss and my job and work. I'm really like not supposed to be going. I feel really lucky that I was extended an invite. So anyone who made the President's Club last year actually gets to go on this and I know what you're thinking. Lauren, you weren't even working with the company last year, like what's going on? I know I'm I feel very lucky that I got extended an invite and a room to be able to experience this place and obviously it is one of the properties that we do sell to our clients so I just feel really lucky to be able to experience it for tonight so and Christian gets to come too so today I'm working by the pool I have my laptop and like obviously a stay the night bag I'm excited to bring you guys along. It is only for tonight, but I just feel so lucky to be able to experience the room. Go to dinner at Kappa, which is one of their restaurants. It's a Spanish steakhouse. I'm just so, so excited. Let's head to the Four Seasons and work by the pool. Okay, I just arrived and I'm gonna do a room tour. So you walk in, then to the left, there's a closet. And then here is the bathroom. So stunning. And then I think there's a TV in the mirror, which is crazy. Bathtub, toilet. Here is the shower. And I'm so glad there's like shampoo and conditioner and body wash because I didn't bring that. So, <laughs> then there's robes that I'm so excited to put on later after I shower before dinner tonight. Here's me. And then you walk over here, TV, bed, there's a little bar over here, an espresso machine for morning coffee. I think there's a fridge in here with some cold waters. And there's a little seating area. I already put all my stuff on the table. Here is the view. It's just insane. So insane. I just had an espresso shot to get me ready for tonight um, but I got some work done not by the pool unfortunately because it is raining love Florida summer but I came back to my room well first off I saw my bosses and they got us this goodie bag which how freaking cute I'm so excited to bring this on my trip with me with some like cups and then a bag of snacks, like are you kidding? Some chocolate, this is so kind. And then New Zealand, Sauvignon Blanc, Oyster Bay, I'm so excited. And then I came back to my room and this was here with a little note. And I just feel like so special and lucky. I cannot wait to have some of these. And Christian is almost here, but maybe we'll open this maybe i'll put it in the fridge so that way it can get a little bit cold and maybe i'll order some ice so that way we can have like a glass of wine while we're like getting ready for dinner i'm gonna get ice and some water i'm waiting on christian to get here and then i'm gonna take him to meet the team 
and then we'll come back i'm gonna shower i haven't debated on if i'm gonna wash my hair or not i feel like i am and then we're gonna head to the lobby bar at 7 30 to get drinks and then our dinner reservation is at 8 30 with everyone so i'm so excited it's 4 40 and he should be here any minute i told him just come up to the room anyways that's the update right now <laughs> christian just got here and he's already being a diva and making me order a body pillow it was my mistake for going through all of the options. He gets his body pillow. <laughs> He'll be here soon with his body pillow. Maybe I should get one. If it's a good, if it's a good body pillow, I'm gonna get one. I just got out of the shower and put on the robe and I don't know why I feel like I'm a child putting on my mom or dad's robe, but this thing is huge on me. Is this how they all are? <laughs> I just laugh at it. It's super comfy though. I need a robe at home. I don't have one, which is kind of weird. So I need to definitely get one when I get home for getting out of the shower and getting ready. It'd be a lot easier. So this makes me want to get a robe. But I'm about to start getting ready, putting on my makeup. So I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna wash my hair in the morning. I was gonna wash it tonight, but I'm just gonna wait and wash it in the morning. It doesn't look too bad. And I feel like dry shampoo might help it so that's what i'm doing and then maybe i will open that bottle of wine that i got and then we'll have like a drink and then we'll head down to the lobby bar and meet up with everyone get a drink and then dinner is at 8 30. Christian just order wings. <laughs> this is truly service. How are they? Ready? 10 out of 10 or less? Nothing's a 10 out of 10. You're just a harsh rater. What do you rate them? 6.5. Shut up. What about the presentation? Yeah, that, that's pretty good. So 8.5. No. Okay, just because the presentation? You're just a harsh rater. put on his robe and I said do you want to put on your robe and <clears throat> drink I have to cut that out why I leave it raw it's so gross I said do you want to put on your robe and drink a glass of wine with me and he said sure so we're gonna I'm probably gonna put ice in it because it is a little bit I mean it's chill but it's not cold cold I also need some chapstick but I really want to try a macaroon. So I'm gonna do that with some wine. Is the lighting okay? I can't tell. Uh, yeah. Is that good? This is a really good Sauvignon Blanc. Oyster Bay. Come here. Ew. It's not gonna show our faces. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Okay, so I just changed and got dressed to go down and get drinks and then go to dinner And I'll show you my outfit after this, but I recently am starting to try out the Le Labo Perfumes and I got the Santal 33 in the mini you can buy these on their website If you don't know what their scents are or if you don't have a store near you, which I don't and I obviously didn't want to spend $100 on the full size without smelling it so you can buy these for six dollars and i think shipping's free or at least it was for me and this is definitely a very unique scent nothing i've ever worn before or tried so i've been like trying it out wearing it and seeing how i like it and i personally like it it wears really well but i told christian to pay attention to how i smell throughout the night because i usually wear it for work and then i shower and by the time he's home i've already showered and it's off so I told him to see how it wears on me today and like see if it still smells good. I personally like it. It's definitely different woodsy type of smell, but it smells really good. So I highly recommend trying out their scents. But let me show you my outfit. 
this is what I'm wearing. L might look familiar if you saw my California vlogs. This is what I wore to go to Temecula Wineries for the day in California. It's a romper, but it looks like a dress. So it's actually like shorts under here, but it kind of looks like a dress. Um, I got it from Hello Molly. I don't know if it's still available, but if it is, I will link it. And if it's not, I'll link the site because they have tons of stuff like this on their site. I also recently just started wearing my hair in the middle again, and I feel like it's just really good lately. I used to just really love the side part, but I feel like the middle part is growing on me again. I do have a long face, so I feel like the middle part does accentuate like how long my face looks, but I feel like it's kind of growing on me, and so is straight hair. My hair is getting so long, it grows like a freaking weed, but middle part and straight hair is like growing on me. around 2 30 i'm about to check out actually of the hotel i was laying out by the pool today christian and i and some of the team went to a character breakfast this morning which was so fun um it was really good i'll insert a photo that christian and i took here with goofy it was so funny and it was really incredible breakfast and then christian left and i hung out by the pool today and now I'm about to leave and head home and shower and wash my hair. So it's been like such a great 24 hours here. I feel really lucky and blessed to have been here. So I'm gonna get my stuff together and head home. Okay, it's a lot later. I have some laundry going. <laughs> What's new? Um, I just made some tacos for dinner. I used these tortillas, which we got from Costco and love, but I've seen them in the Publix frozen aisle where all the gluten-free bread is. And we made tacos for dinner the other night, so we had leftovers, and honestly, there's enough for like a third taco, so I might get a third too. I'm gonna sit in front of the TV, watch some YouTube, and then put away some laundry. I've been drinking out of one of my new cups that I got from this past weekend that I love. I just put some lemon water in there. But I'm gonna eat, oh I need a napkin. I'm gonna eat and then watch some YouTube. wake up today I don't know what it is I slept for like 12 hours last night which I never sleep for that long so I think that's part of the reason I think I just like overslept and then I've been like just sitting in front of my computer today editing a video to get it up and it's I've been linking stuff and doing a thumbnail just finishing up 
that so I think that's it too and I've just been doing laundry and it's kind of gloomy outside I also just think my social battery is like a little bit drained but anyways um but it's three o'clock I think my video will be up it will be like done uploading by the time honestly probably any second so I think my video will probably be done while I'm out so I'll probably just post it while I'm out and um, I'm going to my dad's house because he has a printer and I need to return something through UPS. And um, I found like a UPS drop box like right by my apartment. So I'm just gonna go and drop it so I can return that and um, get that checked off. And then come back and do laundry. I need to figure out meal prep for the week, but that's what's going on today. So if you guys saw my last vlog, then you know that I just got these 1UP Nutrition muffins, the protein and collagen muffins. I kept two of the boxes, but there's four different flavors. So there's carrot cake, blueberry, chocolate, and then there's like a banana nut one. I just had the carrot cake one, and it is so good. I think it's my favorite flavor, but I haven't tried the banana nut one yet. But they're so good. Um, I can link them down below. It's one of the new products that they have on their site. Also, I just got my order in. I, of course, got the vegan reds and greens. But um, I picked up, of course, more of this Kickstart Wellness. Take it every single morning. And sometimes I take it at night if I feel a little bit more bloated or like I need it. And then this has quickly become such a favorite of mine. I have this every single morning after my workout and I have it as a protein coffee. So I just take one scoop of this and I mix it with my coffee. And actually, I just got my box in of La Colombe. Oh, they gave me a sticker. <laughs> Oh, because a new Summer Haze Medium Roast Coffee is back. Um, but this is the coffee bean that I have been trying from La Colombe. I now do a subscription service with them. I used to do Blue Bottle, but I have switched over to La Colombe and I really like it honestly better than Blue Bottle. Blue Bottle has very strong coffee and sometimes it can make me feel like drained. It's weird and I only have one cup or like a double shot of espresso and this doesn't make me feel this way. I don't know how to say it. It's L-Y-O-N and it's a medium roast and actually every time you purchase this, two dollars. Yeah, two dollars from every box sold supports Feeding America. So, love that. I put it in an airtight container to help keep the beans fresh. I mentioned it before, fresh beans is the only way for this machine. They like don't taste, the coffee doesn't taste as good if it's not fresh. So. Okay, we just got back from dinner. I wanted to share something that I got off of Amazon and it's a book. And I really wanted to get a book to read before bed or just read in some downtime, even though I feel like I don't have like a ton of downtime, but I did want something. And I remember Julia Havens talking about this and I watch her. She's probably one of my favorite YouTubers. She's just so true to herself and just really gives off this great energy in a way that I can like feel through her videos and like even just her social media. I don't know, she's just like really great. So. I love watching her and she recommended this book and she just talked about it again in a girl talk video that she posted not too long ago maybe like a few weeks and she said that it changed her life and it's the 101 essays that will change the way you think so i'm really excited i'm gonna start reading it tonight i'll obviously keep you guys posted but i've heard such great things about this book and i really just can't wait to read it and i feel like it will be really good for me to like have a really solid nighttime routine of um reading and no screen time and just trying to relax at least like an hour before bed i still like watching like some youtube videos but like to help me wind down after work and stuff 
but when I'm like really trying to get into like the sleep zone, I feel like it'd be really good to have this to read or just any book. So yeah, I have been wanting to like get back into reading. I feel like I used to read in um, high school and stuff, not so much in college because I feel like I was studying a lot and I was working like six days a week like a psycho. So I really just didn't have a ton of free time. But now that I'm like getting into a routine, I've like really found like a routine structure that works really well for me. So I think that I can start implementing like a little bit of healthier habits, like reading into my nighttime routine. So I'm really excited. So it's around 7 p.m. I think I'm gonna end off this video here. I just wanna relax for the rest of the night. I do wanna start reading this book. I wanna shower and just get in bed and drink my tea and just chill and get ready for work. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you're subscribed. I have fun traveling videos coming up at the end of July and then I have a trip planned in August that I'm excited about. So stay tuned for any upcoming videos, but I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.